Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video we look at who's doing well in our mini league and then how I'm doing and what my plans are for game week six. So this is the top of the Midnight Mule mini league. In third place we have Kyle Arnold of Sacker's Rice Party. Clever name. Very clever name. On 335 points. Two points ahead is Alexander Lawrenson. Al's All Stars on 337. And then a long way ahead JG, simply a green tick, with 366 points. So let's see how they got their 66 points this week. There they are. So they captain Salah. I'm sure a lot of us were tempted who had him, but he actually did it and got 20 points from that. Then 9 from Alvarez, 6 from Haaland, 6 from Saka, 6 from Gusto, 6 from Saliba, 5 from Diaby. And then on the bench, okay, he had Botman for 9, but would you really have played Botman who were playing Brentford instead of cash for Villa so I think that was a that was a reasonable choice and in any case top of the league so very good I'm all the way down in joint 159th I got 41 points which was below the global average so not great <laughs> I had uh, Haaland for 12 as captain Salah for 10 Trippier for 8 and nobody else bothers to do anything else now the only thing good to say about my team or something good is I do already have Trippier and Salah a lot of content creators are trying to work out how to get those two players in. I've already got them. So that's nice. On the bench, nothing to speak of. So 41 points. Game week rank was 6.5 million. My overall rank is 2.6 million. So three red arrows in a row. But we've got 33 game weeks left. So not too scared yet. So I'm five points to the wrong side of 2 million. But I'm only 17 off 1 million. This time of the season, all the numbers are quite close. And look, there's 69 points between 10k and number one. And I'm only 60 points behind 10k. So I'm closer to somebody in 10k than somebody in 10k is to top spot. So look, I'm doing all right, really. 842 subscribers. Thank you very much for all those who subscribe and comment and like and watch the entirety of the video. Thank you very much. On the content creator side, FPL Fran is still top with 334 points. But if you remember the Midnight Mule Mini League, the top three have all got more points than that. So if they were content creators, they'd be the top content creators. As for me, with the content creators, I'm down in 53rd. The only good thing to say about that is I am slightly better than the mighty Ben Krellin, who's very good at predicting when the double game weeks are going to be. And he did well last year as well. So my transfers for game week six, what are my thoughts? The most likely thing I'm going to do is nothing. I've only got one free transfer. I haven't got any burning issues. I could make a slight change, might be slightly better off this week, but probably not. If I did do something, the only thing I'm seriously considering is I could get in Pope. So Newcastle's next fixture is a way to Sheffield United possibly a keen, clean sheet. Home to Burnley could be. Away to West Ham, probably not. Home to Palace, away to Wolves. So a chance of clean sheets, but that would mean getting rid of Pickford. And I like Pickford. He's very funny. He's a lot of fun to own because you get very few points from him, but he's, he's a funny guy to watch. <laughs> They're away to Brentford this week. So obviously I'm expecting Brentford to do better against Everton than Sheffield United against Newcastle. But next week, Pickford's at home to Luton. The week after, he's at home to Bournemouth. So in the next three weeks, I think Pickford could possibly outscore Pope. And I don't need to do this change. And then next week, I'd have two free transfers. So probably nothing this week. But if I did, I'd probably get Pope. So the way my team's going to line up, as things stand, is Haaland. I'm going to give him the old mule hat. I think there's a good number of players that could, could easily get double figure points this week. But Haaland will be the most captained. He's the one that's going to hurt the most if he does well and I don't captain him. So he's my captain. And then Salah's going to be the vice. Haaland's home to Forest. Could be an easy game. Salah's home to West Ham. Probably not quite as easy. Then I've got Mbuemo and his mate Vissa at home to Everton. That could be some nice points. I've got Estupinen and his mate Mitoma at home to Bournemouth. They could be nice points. Then Chilwell's at home with his mate Jackson against Villa. That could be nice points. Then my last three players are all away. That's Trippier away to Sheffield United. Fernandez is home to Burnley. And then Pickford's away to Brentford. 
So the least likely here to get points is going to be probably Pickford or possibly Chilwell if Chilwell doesn't get to start or doesn't play 60 minutes. And then on the bench I have Turner away to Man City and then I've got three doublers by chance. Doublers for next week that is. So Anderson and Nakamba are both at home to Wolves. Of course they could get something there but I'd rather play my main players. And then Bayer's at home to Man United. And in case you're wondering about the picture, autumn happened suddenly, didn't it? A couple of weeks ago, all the trees were green and it was really hot weather. And now leaves are falling off the trees, they're turning brown, and it seemed like it changed really quick. Maybe I'm just getting old, but it was sudden. So if you go to the local woods, if you're near a woods, you may get to see some squirrels playing a little game of football. And that's it. I hope you have a good game week six. That's my plans, or rather non-plans. And I hope to get an above average score this week. Because I think I've got a good number of players that should do all right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>